Hello and welcome back to Boyfriend Dungeon. Uh, we are going through, and this is going to be kind of a dungeon delving episode where we're going to try and level up both Sawyer and Pocket. Um, feels like, like, it's, oh god. Hello, baby. Yes. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, oh, good. Change weapon. Pocket. Yeah, I'm gonna take my cat drinking. You find a pre-made cocktail on the bar next to a bottle of eau de chat. It smells... grassy? Pocket sniffs eagerly at the cocktail and begins lapping it up. Catnip liqueur. His tail curls in pleasure and his purring is strong. It seems so. Perhaps with bird bitters. Wow. Seems extra energetic. Would you like to offer a gift? Wow. Decide not to give a gift right now. Pocket leaps back into the dungeon. You have to pounce to catch him in time. Twice, like the smart boy that I am. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, the dummy works wonders. They wouldn't have two stairs in the same area. There you go. I'm fancy. I've never been in a very important person past a velvet rope. I've never been a very important person past a velvet rope. Though, I don't know if this counts really. There's a rope, but it's... Is it really a VIP section if there isn't a bouncer? Monsters? Uh -huh. Yeah, but the monsters didn't exactly let us in or check a list of names. Oh well. They settle into a cushion, relaxing as best they can. So now what? What do you do in a VIP section? You just sit here being very important? Yes. Marsky Cologne. It smells like cat heaven. Musk, but sweet. Wait, cat heaven doesn't exist, does it? Uh... This place is kind of boring. Let's get back to fighting. What do you say? Okay, I've done it. I've done the thing that I wanted to do. Uh, we done. I wanna oh, we... go this way. Like we're we're so close to this uh, elevator. Nope. Nope. Yep. Breathe a little easier as the doors close behind you. This is the first time that I have ever left a dungeon not inside an ambulance. Go home. Date or two. You seen Pocket? He hasn't been here in a few days. I hope he's okay. Uh, me too. I also hope that he is okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. We're feel something outside the door. The best way to describe it is a presence. Uh, hello. Soft Mew answers you. you. Open the door to find the one-eyed street cat. This this cat has more than one eye. Artists, uh, this cat has more than one eye. Astarte is staring at you. She flicks her tail and walks away, looking back to see if you're following. Follow. Follow the cat at a safe distance. You just see Pocket in like a fighting ring. Like, this has just been where he's been for days. He leads you through the streets, her paws making no sound on the concrete. You wonder that the city seems oddly empty for such a beautiful evening. She turns and you seem to have lost her in an alley's shadows. Where did she go? 
rumble of thunder shakes the sky, but there are no clouds. Your eyes adjust and you see green and yellow eyes blinking on all sides. After a moment, you realize it's not thunder, it's purring. Oh my god, imagine how many cats that would need. Hundreds of cats surround you, watching intently, ready to pounce. As if by one mind, they all rise and flow past you and you are swept along with them. You find yourself back in the park, at a hole on the hedge you never noticed before. Cats flow into the hole in the hedge. I think you see Astarte's tail flick as she ducks inside too. The park looks the same, yet somehow larger. Even smaller. What's happening? The answers. It seems like whatever lies ahead you must do yourself, without his help or protection. I'm gonna turn into a cat. You hesitate, noticing that your hands have become paws! The hole glows ominously! You step forward, enjoying the cool of the earth against the pads of your paws. Peace washes over you in the place, smelling of herbs and summer afternoons. In the way of dreams, Pocket and Astarte look at you. You understand what, what's happened. You sense Pocket has been fighting for you, literally clawing to get you accepted here. Mr. Cat. Eventually, Astarte accepted you as part of the extended feline family in peace beyond fighting. Before you know it, your fur is combed by a comforting tongue. A rumbling purr shakes your ribcage. I am a kitty! Achievement unlocked out of the bag. Okay, Sulky, after you're hurt, the next attack will do more damage and immobilize. Not in lives, after you're hurt, you get a speed boost. Nice. For Sulky, after you're hurt, the next attack will do more damage and immobilize. Yeah, we're gonna be sulky. You look into his eyes and feel deep, abiding, familial love as he grooms you like a sister. Uh, who do we groom back? Friends. You return the favor. It's a bit like brushing someone's hair, except fur sticks to your tongue. You sense Pocket is not his true name, but that you are beyond names here. I'm grateful that you believed in him, giving you his deep trust. Fall asleep in a long sunbeam, longer than a lifetime after this. You wake up warm and refreshed, but with a heavy weight on your chest. After a moment of disorientation, you expect your paws, hands. They are hands again. Fully awake, you see Pocket is asleep in front of you, nuzzled wow. into your neck. Eventually, Pocket gets up and stretches, watching you curiously. Am I a werecat now? I need to know this. Can I please be a werecat? Focus and concentrate, trying to transform into a cat. Nothing happens. Pocket pauses, then begins washing his paw. Maybe he's hiding a smile. Looks comfortable in your apartment. It occurs to you that you've never seen him quite so at ease. After a moment, Pocket jumps with a chur, a chur and slips through your open window. Watch him pick his way along the rooftops. He looks back at you, ill curved. Glow blink. Yeah, we're gonna meow real loud at our cat. Pocket hesitates only a moment, blinking slowly before he slinks away into the cityscape. You have reached maximum love level with Pocket! Hey, is everything okay? Pocket was gone all night. Uh, I'm sure he's fine. I hope so. Cats are more like roommates than pets, you know? Roommates with fuzzy tummies? No. You're just bad owner. You gotta give them freedom. You don't. You don't. That's how they get hurt. Oh well, I'm glad he has you for a friend. Me too. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. I already owe you one or two or three, but I have to ask. I'm in trouble with my professor. Can you come back me up at the college? I'm not good at standing up for myself. 
I will be there. Building H, room five. What's up? What did you do this time? Where Where is the college? Verona College. I assume that that was all- that was- yeah, that was Pocket's last day. It's fine. You arrive at the classroom to find Sawyer being scolded by their history professor. A white man! So, uh, you know, how, how are we doing this? Are we duel to the death? Just until you cry and give up? Like, how how you want to do this? You simply cannot survive in this world if you're always forgiven for every mistake. Yup. No, I'm really sorry, but I'll make it up to you. The professor raises an eyebrow as he notices you. Are you here for the next class? We're almost done. Uh -uh. No, she's with me. A as a friend, I ask for support. Hmm. Support? Am I so very intimidating? Even to someone as sharp as yourself? Sir, please. If you let me retake the test, I'll show you. I know the material. We're not saying this one out loud, because we're not snitches. We're just gonna ask what happened. I was a few seconds late turning in my final and gave me a zero out of a hundred. Please, Professor, I'm begging you. I really need this credit. Mm -hmm. I have no interest in your groveling. You have an interest in my fist going three inches into your nose? It's the policy, you know the rules. I'm just being fair to the other students. Aww. If I fail this course, everything is ruined. I can't afford to take it again. It's not gonna be this, because, like... It's not just a class. Here's the thing, with the way that our college and, like, education system has been set up, one class is, like, three, uh... Three credit hours end up being, like, anywhere from $200 to, like, I've had a class that was $500 before in the past. Just for a single class. Not tuition, not just the class. Like, it's not just a class. Uh, they've learned their lesson. I'm gonna say have mercy. Like... They learned their lesson feels like, look, I understand, and I think that you're in the right, uh, but they learned their lesson, so it's fine. It's have mercy. Mercy. Did Napoleon the Great show mercy at the Battle of Mbabe? Mbabe? I don't, I don't know how. No, this world is about dominance. You should know that better than most as a weapon. Mm, this guy's this guy's pushing a lot of buttons that I don't like. If you read my test answers, you'll see I incorporated theories of weapon forms into my analysis. Oh, very well. I'll only dock 20% of your grade. Now, off with you both. Lawyer murmurs a quick thank you, and they leave the classroom in a hurry. You stay and kick the shit out of him. Can't fight all their battles with them, you know. Some things they have to, they will have to face on their own. Follow Sawyer out and walk in silence together for a few minutes. Find yourselves by the beach. Sawyer looks out over the ocean thoughtfully. I almost totally tanked my semester there, just by not paying attention for a few minutes. It's scary how quickly things can change. Like, when you cook something at a heat that's too high. Thanks for trying to help. Your support means a lot. I just wish education only measured my learning and cared less about rules and conforming. So, yeah. We all know rules are useful sometimes, but that's for things like... Don't murder. Like, that's a useful rule. Uh... A lot of a lot of the academic rules are bullshit and based on arbitrary shit. So definitely, huh. you get me. But I guess the world cares about power more than facts and knowledge, huh? It makes sense. No matter how hard you try, someone with power over you can take everything away. 
Yeah, nobody can stop us, right? They can't take away our friendship. Friendship. Goes into you. Long hug. Wipe their eyes. Come on, Chief. Jeff. Master's over. Summer's coming to an end. Just me and you. Let's celebrate. I'm hungry. What do you say we grill up something on the beach barbecue? You handle the fire part, and I'll go get some ingredients. What do you want? My treat. You know what? I know it's gonna be a disaster, but we're going with whatever. Yup. Grilled eggs and blueberries, the Sawyer special, coming right up. I regret every decision I have made to lead me to this point in time. You spend the evening grilling and chatting, watching the sunset, and throwing the eggs under the sand and burying them. Don't go not. I wouldn't have survived this semester without you. Financially, academically, or nutritionally. I don't know what you're planning on after this summer, but... <laughs> But even if you leave Verona Beach, I'll always admire you and try to learn from you. Achievement unlocked at arm's reach. And we get either prepared, the throw does damage again on the return, or heavy heart. Throw also stuns enemies so that they cannot attack. We're gonna stun all day, every day! It's so much for me this semester. I'm a stronger, more resilient person now because of the but, I've been wanting to ask, why do I oil the pan for potatoes, but not for bacon? Because bacon makes their own oil. Bacon comes pre-oiled. Spend the rest of the night guessing cooking technique. Bye! Eventually you head home. You've reached maximum love rank with Glaive. Hope you're having a good day, Chef. With a son? You too. Matthew. If you put in effort to have a good day every day, then after you leave Verona Beach, you'll remember it as a happy place. One where your friend Sawyer is waiting for you, patiently. Come back soon. Deal? Deal. Good. All we can do. Okay. Okay. We have everyone at level at, at maximum love rank that I can achieve anyway. Uh, the only one that I can't is Rowan, and I don't fully understand what's up with that. Oh. Oh my god. No. It's at 173 out of 175. It's not max. It's not Max. I just... I just haven't been leveling Rowan because I thought it was just stuck at level 3. Is that... Oh, Rowan is as far up as they can go. As far up as they can go. As far up as they can go. Next time on Boyfriend Dungeon, we will level up Rowan and see what their dates and stuff are like. And I'll, I'll see you next time. Bye.